after we run the push command we wait for a few seconds or a few minutes and we can see the output like here and then you open docker hub and refresh again yes after refreshing i can see my new okay my new image with the uh, uh, tab with operating system is linux and the uh, time we push so with the image i i can reuse i can uh, pull to to my local host uh, run my code etc do something and uh, with the configuration i said before so we list all the image again and we have my image my old edit which has been full push before so we remove every image by using image id uh, it is re reference to multiple parts so let's use dash force dash f mean that uh, mean force okay, docker image okay so every is clear then we can pull this image from uh, docker hub from my repository so let's try to docker pull and copy yes paste to here and add the tag to here set by semicolon tag press enter so it download the node my script image or my custom image to my local machine and i can see this in the image so now we create container from my custom image we uh, also have uh, the port mapping we also have the container name we also have the working directory and the image name okay the image name here copy and paste to here and uh, the the command line we execute okay that's very good so i copy this line these lines and paste to here you must change directory to the node.js application you create a new file a new folder and change directory to this folder and run the container inside this and map the working directory to the current directory inside the node.js app 02 okay the container has been uh, running maybe it is running so let's check by docker ps to show every running container and docker ps does a to show every container running or stopping so we see the log by docker log node by SQL containers we couldn't find a package log json so you need to uh, copy code from uh, uh, here and paste to uh, Node.js 02 it's quite easy so let's copy code from uh, here select uh, every code file including server.js including package.json except node module node module copy and paste to uh, node app 02 to so paste here okay paste and then run docker i am to remove the container again and start the container and restart the container by copy this line paste to start another container so docker ps docker log my sql container okay uh, so something wrong because node mom not execute we must uh, execute to uh, eastern node mom node mom not found inside the container because we do not install node mom or watch main inside the container so let uh, enter more command to here or update docker file by uh, running npm install the dash g node mom yes we install it inside the the image we run this inside the image we run the we uh, install the node monitor inside uh, the image and we also run uh, watchman 
and then we rebuild the image again because we update the Docker file and we, we want to rebuild the image again with the new version uh, from the Docker file. So try to change directory to Node.js application and rebuild the Node.js the Node module image, rebuild the image to update Docker file. Okay, so the Docker file is updated. So Docker image, okay. Yes, my image here. So try to rename uh, by updated version. So this version may be uh, 0 0.0, 1.0.1. Uh, yeah, we will change this to this version. Change the latest to this version. Then we docker push. Uh, remember to push the latest version, not the previous version. So we remove uh, the previous I type in here and we docker image so we have the latest here so let's change the latest to uh, v1.0.1 so copy this code line okay or is it one line yes copy paste yeah oh very good very good okay it puts uh, the image with the, the word, uh, with the updated version to the Docker Hub inside my uh, repository, and we start again by changing the name of the image. The Docker remove previous and okay. Uh, we remove the zero container firstly and. Uh, copy and run okay copy and paste okay good so we can uh, check docker ps okay it is running very good so now check the lock inside the container by typing docker lock okay yes and i see the, the output like here uh, the output like here is very good it's the same as you run inside your uh, your house or your PC, but uh, here it is running on uh, the target container. Uh, very good. You can test by uh, send a data request to the uh, host and then the host forwards this report to the port to the container. And how to update code? Easy, very easy. You can change the code here, and the code and container will reload because uh, the working directory is mapped to the current directory. So let's use Node.js app, not Node.js app 02. Don't use. So you can uh, change code here by showing. Uh, environment variable we have a multiple variable and you can use node.js to display every uh, environment variables by console log and uh, so the variable is inside uh, the env the env object so we have a process.env uh, dot uh, server password uh, process dot enz dot uh, mysql user etc it's very easy to understand uh, the environment variable of node.js project so you can also convert this object by using json stringify uh, object entry to see the detail of the object now modify the code modify the code now copy the container name and uh, change directory to uh, the node.js application and uh, docker I am remove the uh, 
uh, existing container and run again copy and run again now paste to here okay so you see uh, the output container ID and docker ps okay this container ID uh, is running so copy the container name and uh, check logs okay oh good variable object object so uh, not important because uh, we can show by using json stringify json stringify is good uh, json stringify so okay so now run again you can remove or you can restart the docker name docker remove okay but you can use docker restart with container name yes it is more convenient so paste to here again to run again yes copy the container name again on so lock oh okay very good it is an environment variable and you can see the um, MySQL password, MySQL user, yes, MySQL password, and uh, etc. Many, um, many uh, environment uh, variable inside. Many variable. Yes, so MySQL DB. Yes, okay. You can search by command F to search for specific property and type pro property name. You can see the output okay so we can destruct the object yes instructor is uh, how to destroy an object in node.js it's very simple with any uh, node.js developer we uh, can destruct the ring or destruct the variable from the process.env we destruct the ring object destructory okay yes yes the convention yes here is better so you copy and paste this line and change to display only a specified property or specified environment variable okay clear and then docker uh, remove force the container the existing container and then run again run the container again you can also uh, try to restart container by typing docker restart node my mysql container let's try at home okay docker ps and copy the container so love my docker love Yes. Okay. So my SQL server here, my SQL root, my SQL password. Okay, it's very good. It is sent from uh, the the command to uh, to to uh, start the container and you use it to uh, display a uh, environment variable uh, variable to the console. And uh, another important thing is that uh, it is run on container not run on uh, your host or your PC but the code is updated from your host uh, you update the code in time or, on, or in green time and uh, the output will, uh, will change instantly so we can also test the output by using CUIL but you must change the, 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 the port to your PC port, uh, your host port, not your container port. Yes. So let's use your host port, not your container port. Okay, to try again to run the container. Okay, yes. So it's very good. The output display when you send the request by uh, using CUIL, you open a new tag and send to uh, this by CUIL, and then you see uh, the output inside the log here. Yes, 
is very convenient when you want to develop uh, your code uh, inside your, um, your, your host but uh, the output running on the container so docker log again okay yes the code is relied by calling uh, watch and node monitor you can also execute uh, interactive mode uh, the bus cell is uh, yes you can access the bus shell by using docker uh, that's it mean interactive mode interactive mode means you can run your command and see the the, the, the response instantly inside the common line interface so list on file here again yes remember the the, the map volume is very important because it map your code to uh, the folder inside container then when the code change when you change the code inside the host the code inside container on, also be changed and uh, the node yet will relax instantly. So now you copy and save this to uh, separate TST file. You can download this TST file in my GitHub uh, link. You can download the C and test this command.